Ten years ago, I was given the opportunity to step over and begin work in virtual reality. Virtual reality, of course, really started with gaming, right? We still build it with the game's engines, but we're starting to get a lot of other experimentation. And we're starting to get a lot of other industries looking into VR to figure out how they might use it for their landscape. To me, the real potential of virtual reality is not only in how we play, but how we work. So the thing about Massive is just how quick it allows an architect to flesh out an idea. Not only just as a sketch, but this idea of a digital 3D sketch that you can experience. We've been talking about this idea of the digital world really colliding with our physical world for a long time. And you know, that's just where we're at right now, the very beginning. We help brands to visualize their store plans, their designs in photorealistic 3D. VR is a perfect medium for designers and retailers. And the reason why is because it gives them the ability to see exactly what their consumers are going to see. Also, we give them interactive tools so that they can create spaces themselves. When I mention virtual reality to people, a lot of times they think, wow, that's Tomorrowland. And I have to tell them, no, they're tools that are available today. And some of the world's biggest companies are investing billions of dollars in it. And if I was a retail brand, I'd be looking at that. I think virtual reality is going to allow you to take control over the car buying experience. With a VR showroom, you can customize the car the way you want it. We also create driving simulators that allow people to experience safety features in a safe environment and actually get more informed about the products that they're interested in. What gets me up early in the morning is the pace of this technology development. It's too compelling not to be involved in it. So one of the big differences between now and the 90s is that just the raw computational power of CPUs and GPUs has increased so much that we can actually drive complex digital environments. We're really at a point where technology has just caught up with our imaginations, and now we've got to figure out what we're going to do with it. Virtual reality is all coming together because not only the technology, but because there's great applications for it.